Hello and welcome to the TrueCast to the Woo Fucking Me, the KCC week number two versus my good pal Onyx, the coach of the Deltaville Dragon Maids. Uh, we took a, a hard L uh, at the hands of Endless uh, because we bricked six games in a row, but that's besides the point. Anyway, um, Onyx's draft consists of Virtual World, Jude Draco, Dragon Maids, Mathmex, Weather Painters, Dream Mirror, Ghost Bell, Titan Cider, Scapegoat, at three copies, and Terraforming. Um, it was actually pretty annoying to prep for, uh, simply because he has good decks. True Draco eats alive most of my decks, and so that was going to be annoying to prep for. So game plan going into this was trying to get the dino v virtual world or dino v tree draco matchup game one and then using raid rafters as my second game to try and pick up another w and then depending on the last game we're either going to play um blackwing or maybe even dino wrestler can't really play Abyss in this matchup because of Ghost Bell. But, um, I, I expected Honest to bring Virtual World, True Draco, and Dragon Maid. So, let's hop into the games and see what happens, baby. He's not here, good. Woohoo! Match one is Dinosaur versus Dragon Maid. We won RPS, so we're going first. We activate Lost World, Normal Summon OV, and go through the motions of the Dino combo. Summoning Argo, popping Baby in hand with the inclusion of Lost World, we manage to end on some Morg, UCT, Statue, and a Pankratops with two in the back row. Onyx proceeds to set three cards and pass, to which we Cyclone in the end phase, hitting bye bye damage. We attack into his egg token, accidentally activating the effect of Lost World, but put him on 35 and end the turn. With nothing to out the board, Onyx scoops and we move to game two. Game 2, Onyx decides to go first. Normal summoning Chamber, adding Changeover. He activates Changeover, fusing Chamber and New Diarl into Xiao and Passing. We start by special summoning Alpha and Pankertops. We trigger Pank to bait out the Xiao Negate and then bounce house with Alpha. We summon Alpha again and swing over his monster after he tags out for New Diarl, set 2 and pass. I realize now that we could have accomplished a better combo with the Lost World in hand, but oh well. Onyx activates Welcome, so we Cyclone it. He sends cleanup with epic goods, then summons chamber and searches another welcome. He activates it, and we cyclone it again. He banishes cleanup to summon Nidiarl, activates changeover and grave to return it to hand, and then changeovers into shell, beating over alpha. Unfortunately, with a giant rex top deck, we try to get in, but Onyx has already shut the game down for us. Game 3 we go first, summoning Lithosa Gem by popping Baby and Petite. Unfortunately, Onyx is only running two extra deck monsters, so we don't get the full value. Off the pops, we summon Baby and Pink. We normal summon Ovi and go through the motions uninterrupted, ending on a full board of Simorg, UCT, Statue, Pink, Rex, and Litho. Onyx proceeds to T-Set and Pass, which lets us OTK on the following turn with Cyclone and UCT's effect. Unfortunately, in match 2, we lost 2 of the 3 replays, but I'll try and recap what I remember happening. Game 1, Onyx breaks and we are able to set up combo and win on turn 4 pretty convincingly. Game 2, Onyx sets up Shen Chen and Jizhu with Chu Chen in the back. We're almost able to take the game, but mess up a little in turn 4, we don't have enough resources and end up losing in the grind game. Now, Game 3. We're going first and normal summoning Vanishing Lania. Special summon Tribute and go full combo through a Ghost Spell, ending on some Morg, Statue, Ult Falcon, and Maguska with two back rows set. Onyx summons Gigi and Lulu, searching King Long. He activates it and it's one of his only outs to Maguska, so we Cyclone it. He synchros for Shen Shen and passes. We Cyclone his last back row, which he chains the Tino Sider, negating Maguska. We tack in for a large chunk of damage and pass. Onyx summons Shen Shen from Grave and equips it with Psychic Blade and attacks over our Alt Falcon for quite a bit of damage, passing the turn. We summon Dinah and Link Baguska and Statue into Win. We summon Vanishing Lanius and Overlay into Force Strike, searching Singing. We activate Wing and Grave to summon and rank up into Revolution Falcon to pop Shen Shen for game. 
Match 3 is Blackwing vs. Mathmech. We're going first, so we summon Gust and Gale, make Wystrix to summon Bora. We Foolish Burial Zeph, bounce Bora to summon Zeph, then summon Bora and make Baguska. There's gotta be something I'm doing wrong here. Onyx summons Multi and Addition, overlaying into Alan version, detaching both so we can get them into the grave to summon Scripton. He then links into Splash Mage, tries to equip it with Billion Blade, so we IDP to banish it and Addition, so he passes. We attack for 14 and pass. He summons Multiplication and activates his Induction to pop Y Strix and pass. Okay. With one more turn with Baguska, we comfortably pass and hope Onyx can't OTK us. Onyx Cyanets for Nobla, summoning it and tries to activate Multiplication to make Final Sigma, but can't, so he passes. We summon the top deck Blizzard, reviving Zeph and going into Nothung. We summon Oster off the extra normal summon and finally make full Armor Master and steal Nobla. We attack it and pass. Onyx has no way of coming back with just one card and ends up losing game one. In game two, we Foolish Burial Zephyros, normal summon Blizzard, reviving Zeph, special summon Crackhead, and make full Armor Master pass. Bra moment. Three cards for a fucking towers. Yikes. Onyx sign at Minings for Nobla, summoning it and Sigma. He activates Nabla, sending Sigma to summon Multiplication and make Final Sigma. He beats over full armor and passes. Unfortunately, with a Ghost Bell in hand, we can't mount an offense and lose game two. Game three, Onyx is forced to go first and activates Sinet Optimization? Hold up, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Who's this? Meta Man, how the fuck do you have my phone number? I I don't want you to go over to his house and proceed to activate Mystic Mind 69 times in his face. So please don't. Oh, you're you're already at his house. Okay. Well, I Goodbye, Meta Man. Please fuck off.